Welcome back, everyone. Today is July the 4th, 2022. July the 4th, 2022. We're going to talk about Pfizer today and see, should we buy, sell, hold at $52? You guys can see that the market price in Pfizer is around $52. What should we do? What should we be doing? Well, guess what? The price chart is going to let us know. So I'm going to speak on that today as we go throughout this video to show you what we should be doing. Now, welcome everyone to my channel. This is AJ Ben, also known as Chief of News. I come through and I do price predicts. I come through and show you where I think price is about to go so that we can be prepared and so that we can make money. You guys want to make money, right? Well, this is how you're able to do it without the confusion. So go ahead and hit, hit your boy up. Hit the like button. Should have been also subscribe here to the channel. Tap that bell notification as well. Now, first of all, one thing that I usually do on my video is I always come back to what has happened in the market versus what I was thinking it was going to do. So we did Pfizer, okay, on May the 22nd, 2022. And you guys can see what my expectations were. I was looking for the market and Pfizer to move up in price. And let's say it, it did. The market in Pfizer it did go up right here. So from May the 23rd, all the way until June the 8th, we had opportunity to profit off of the move higher. Now, I was telling you all that we were trading around all time highs at that particular moment. And let's not be greedy. The market in fires have fell short of hitting that $56 price, right? You guys can see that the market restriction came in around 55. And I'm quite sure I had a price target up there around 4.7%. You wanna go see what I said? Go back and listen to the video. It's still here. Yeah, it's historical now. It's history, but you can still see what was going on at that particular time versus to what really happened. All right, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. Because now we need to talk about what should we be doing now? Is Pfizer a buy? Is it a sell or is it a hold? Well, there's a couple of things we need to address. First of all, let me zoom out this chart because you guys can see that the market price in Pfizer it tried to break this long-term ascending line. We started back in March of 2021. It tried, but you know what? It failed. We are now seeing the market trade right back above that ascending line. That's a good thing for the buyers. That's good. Secondly, the market may not actually be following this trend. It may just be consolidating. Look at this. What do you know? The market in Pfizer may be consolidating. So you know what I'm going to do? We are going to transpose the chart. We're not going to focus in on that ascending line. No, we're not. We want to focus in on why is the market in Pfizer doing this? Why is it just bouncing in between these lines? What could really be going on? Hmm. Let's take another look. Look at fires on a weekly because you're not going to get this information anywhere else. Okay. Now look what happened last week. Okay. We saw some strength coming to the market on the week of June the 21st, 2022. And that is why the market currently is still moving higher. Now let's take a look. Let, let's try to dissect this because this is where all the information is. You don't need nothing else to determine where the market is trying to go. So, we're going to look at these two weekly price bars. All right. We're going to look at them. I got arrow, the arrow pointed to one and I got the arrow pointed to the second one. Now let's look, let's dissect this real quick because you're not going to, see, no one's going to tell you about this. So look at this. Okay. Something is going on over the last two weeks in Pfizer. All right. People be, show their conviction off of what they do with the money. Okay. If people are buying, they would it would be reflected on a chart. If the majority of people are selling, it would be reflected on the chart, right? So when you look at the week of June 21st, 2022, right? Look at the volume compared to, to last week's. Look at the price spread versus last week. What does this mean? For real, what is actually going on in the market? What this means is that 
the week of June 21st, 2022, is letting us know that there was no restriction in pushing the stock higher in Pfizer, meaning that there was no sellers in the way from taking the price of opening $47.32 all the way up there to $51.64. There wasn't no big sellers there. That's why the spread is so wide and the volume is so light. But then you get to last week, right here, the week of June 27, 2022. The volume is higher than the week before, but the price spread is smaller. Hmm, what does that mean? It's the opposite. It means that there was a bigger seller last week versus the week before, because for one, volume is high, and then two, the, the price spread is smaller. So there was a little bit more selling going on last week in Pfizer than there was a week before. So that should tell you, hey, I might need to be a little bit conservative in how high I think the price is going to go. This is powerful information that nobody don't want you all to know. So seeing that that's the case, we are going to be conservative in how high we think the market in fires is about to move. That is why I transition over us looking at the market on hold that ascending line to just one of consolidating. OK, now this is it on the two weeks. OK, so from a two week perspective, for us to see the market in Pfizer go down on this two weekly price bar to going back up tells me that the market still has a little bit more strength in the tank, that it still wants to move higher. Now, we got to pause, though, because we might just hit $54. We might not run up to 56. You see that, right? Just like the market and Pfizer got rejected here and held support, we need to be prepared to take the bag right there. And it might just happen on one trading day. That is why you already got to be in position to win in the market. Okay. So this is fires on the monthly. OK, last month we saw the market dip. It went down, but it bounced right off of these areas of support that these monthly price bars did the same thing. February and even in March. Market is trying to move higher in fires, especially on the monthly time frame. This is fires on the three months. See, while a lot of other stocks are trending down, you guys can see that fires is not acting that way. Fires is a stock that is bucking the system. You're seeing more people buy the market in Pfizer than you see people selling. That's three months. Look at fires on the six months. OK, it doesn't look as if Pfizer is done with trading up at these levels. Other stocks are crashing. Pfizer is still elevated. It's still maintaining its strength. This is some powerful information. I just wanted you all to understand that this is very, very powerful. OK, so I think we got the gist as to what we think the market's about to do. Now, again, I will show you how high I think the market's about to go. Like, I'm not going to be outlandish. I'm already seeing some prior area of restriction right around here. Fifty four. Yeah, fifty four dollars. That's my first price target. That gives us three and a quarter percent. Hey. If that's how high the market is willing to go, we need to just take the bag and move on. That's my first price target. My second one's around 55, just like it hit the last time. That gives us 5%. Third one, I'm still going to bring it up there to 56, but it might fall a little bit short, so I'm going to bring it down a little bit lower. So overall, we can see a 7% movement higher in price. That's about it. Now, on a three months, monthly time frame, we can see the market fires a break 56, but I really want to see how the market action is at the end of this month for me to really look at that. OK, but this is it. This is where I'm at. OK, so let me go ahead and put this on the chart so you all can see it. And it will come back. Like I said, I always come back and show you all what really happened into the market. OK, but it's on the daily. So you all can see this from a daily perspective as to what we can expect. Let me bring it down a little bit further to like 47.50 and we're allowed to market work. We're here. 
this is it the newest updated price prediction that i have for pfizer now it's your turn let me know make sure you maintain profitability and as always trade different